Broadly speaking, architects typically work with two primary loci of controls to guide their work, which are the architecture vision and the stakeholder concerns. Architecture vision represents strategic view of the ideal target state of enterprise architecture and it is aligned to and enables strategic vision of the business. While stakeholder concerns refer to the collective of tactical and operational considerations and objectives as well as apprehensions and pain points held by the key stakeholders of the architected system and their perceptions of improvements needed to transition the system from the current state to a desired target state. A stakeholder could be defined as anyone who is impacted by and or have an interest in the outcome of an enterprise initiative. In practice, organizations require the stakeholders to understand and endorse the architecture deliverables before they are implemented. And hence, stakeholder communication and stakeholder management is a key function of enterprise architecture. Now, since stakeholder concerns form such an important influence on architecture work, it is important for architects to communicate and work effectively with various stakeholders involved. This involves representing architecture work products and outcomes to stakeholders that represents their perspective and addresses points of interest that the stakeholder can relate to. Togaf calls this the viewpoints. To use an analogy from the civil engineering industry, for example, the architecture blueprint of the building may include many different viewpoints. You may have one viewpoint representing the plumbing requirements, for example, and another one representing the electrical and data wiring or cabling plan. And it may have another viewpoint which perhaps represents the general layout and facades of the building for marketing purpose. Similarly, in the case of enterprise architecture, different stakeholders will need to see the architecture from different vantage points that satisfy their needs and concerns. For example, if you want to represent the architecture of, say, a business-to-business -business enterprise integration gateway to a business process expert, you might want to define a viewpoint specific to those stakeholders and have models that depicts the process flow, the value chains, the data exchanged, etc. While there could be some overlaps, this may be very different to what you may want to present to a network security specialist who would perhaps want to see the servers, the network segments, firewalls, ports, protocols, the nature of data being transmitted, and so forth. TOGAF recommends defining and agreeing on the minimum viewpoints that are necessary to satisfy the stakeholder concerns on given initiative. While the viewpoints represent an angle or a perspective, it is expressed and articulated through views. Essentially, views that represent a viewpoint breaks down the complexity of representing the architecture and tailors it to the perspective that is most appropriate for the target audience. Now, views are themselves constructed using a number of architectural artifacts, where an architectural artifact generally falls within the following categories, catalogs, matrices, or diagrams. Usually, these are further annotated with textual descriptions to aid in better understanding and to clarify or highlight certain aspects of the architecture. To clarify again, as discussed earlier in the module through the jigsaw puzzle analogy, the enterprise architecture landscape is built out using components, referred to as the architecture building blocks. A given building block may be represented to different stakeholders through viewpoints that are tailored to them. Viewpoints are articulated through views, which are essentially a collection of architectural artifacts. And an artifact can be one of catalogs, matrices, or diagrams. Thank you.